Hey guys, welcome back. I already did this high off camera, so we're going to go ahead and do this one with you. I'm taking the creases out of my concealer, then I'm going to dive right into the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place and add the orange right in my crease, and I'll blend this up a little high. Taking my Too Faced Eggnog Latte palette, I'm using the shade Central Park and I'm adding that directly into my crease and once I do that, I'll go in with another fluffy brush and I'll blend out the harsh line between the orange and the green. Because I want my lid to be a nice deep green, I'm taking a black gel liner and I'm adding that right on top of my lid and blending that into the green. And then I went into my Jaclyn Hill palette and used the shade Enchanted. I applied this on top of the base to set it, but you could have completely skipped this step and took the shade Central Park and set the base because at the end of the day, all it did was mix with the um, shimmer shade and made my lid shimmery anyway um, but it did make a darker green which I liked so I just went ahead and blended some more of Central Park right on top once I'm about here with the eye I'll go ahead and start with my face first I primed my face with the MAC natural radiance face primer and then I am going to go ahead and clean under my eyes and add my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 240. And I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Beauty Sponge for this. And to get the foundation as full coverage as I have it in this video, I did apply two layers of this foundation. Then I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm adding that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. Then I'll take my beauty sponge and go ahead and blend that into my skin. To set under my eyes, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then with my Maybelline Face Powder, I am setting my foundation. Then I'm taking the shade Twerk from my Jaclyn Hill Palette and I'm adding that on my lower lash line. The mouthpiece that I'm looking for is something like this, something that is torn up or sliced open. I went in with this pinkish nude eyeliner and that didn't really work for me. I don't know if it just wasn't sharp or whatever, but um, I went straight in with the red and it worked for the edges and everything that I was looking for. But um, when I did mess up, it um, really did mess up. So I ended up going back in with some white eyeliner instead and that worked out better I don't know if it was just the pencil if that pencil was too creamy on top of the foundation and the white pencil was a little bit more harder so it kind of like drew on my face better but either way it worked and um, I started continuing drawing the rips on my face Once I've drawn the rough sketch of my um, tears, I'm going in with the red snazzaroo face paint and I'm outlining each one of these tears. I am making sure the edges of these tears are nice of these tears are nice and sharp. Just to let you guys know, you don't have to be too perfect at this. I have no background in any of this type of face painting and I had so much fun doing it and I feel as if this look came out great so I just want everybody to have fun this Halloween and creating everything and whatever you want to do put your mind to it because I've never done this before and it looks great so I'm pretty sure if you do it it would also look just as good so I'll go ahead and finish this up and then once I um, outlined it with red, I went in with um, some more red and filled it all in. Okay, once we filled it all in, we'll go ahead and add some depth and the teeth. With a Snazaroo face paint in white, I am dabbing this in between all of the really large slices that I have. I pretty much add it to all of them, but really um, mostly all of the large ones that I want to look deep, I'll add the white in the middle. 
For the teeth, I took a small shader brush and I pressed that against my lip and that helped me create the shape of a tooth. I brought the two sides up into a point as if I was doing a teardrop and faded the tip of the teardrop upwards so that it looks like it's fading into my gums. Then I'll take some more black Snazaru face paint and I'll outline the rips. Then with some red, I'll go inside the lines and blend out some of that black. After I finish up this rip, uh, my camera pretty much gooped out on me and I didn't get to record the rest of it. Um, but what I did for the rest of it was add the black and the red to give the slices a little bit more dimension. And once I did that, I lined my waterline with some red, deepened up the purple under my eyes, added a shimmer yellow in my inner corner and a purple liner with some eye lore lashes of course and then the look was complete i'm really satisfied with the way this look came out again this was my first time and my first time i think i blew it away if you guys thought so too give this video a thumbs up um that would be greatly appreciated comment down below and let me know what you thought if you would like to see more videos from me go ahead and click the subscribe button follow me on all my social media i have instagram snapchat and facebook and until next time Bye, guys.